I have no words. I need a cuddle. Mommy needs a cuddle because she's gonna have a breakdown. Oh, there is nothing more frustrating to a vlogger than not realizing your mic isn't working. I'll put you guys here. So the other day I thought my camera was broken, but jokes on me, it wasn't actually my camera, it was my mic. Instead of getting frustrated and giving up, throwing in the towel, getting rid of my mic, which I am gonna do, I decided to salvage it. Look, I know you guys don't care, but I just have to explain. But as soon as I grab the camera and like walk around, that's when it stops working. I also wanna say one disclaimer. I do mention this in the vlog, just like everyone, but especially right now, my days are so different. Like some days I'm taste testing, other days I'm super hungry from training. My appetite changes so drastically, I honestly can't keep up. Just keep in mind that this is not a representation of how I eat every single day. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this vlog and I'm gonna go to the shops and get a new microphone because I can't deal with this again. Oh, this is a nice cuddle. I wish my toddler cuddled me like this. Do you love me more than he loves me? Oh, you're so nice. super silky smooth but like awkward it just doesn't look not that i need to look good i'm literally going to the gym but like it won't even stay up in a pony Ugh, i'm running late so yeah before the gym i don't wash my face i don't put makeup on i just get up and go basically i usually get up half an hour earlier than today but for some reason i set my alarm at the wrong time and my body clock just woke up at like quarter past six when usually i would wake up at six or like 5 45 so lucky thank you body clock. I booked in for a class workout at 7. I haven't even taste tested my coffee yet. It's a good one. I look bald. I look bald. So today it's supposed to be boiling hot. It's supposed to be like 42 degrees or something, which this is it in Celsius. This is it in Fahrenheit. But this morning I was like, I'm definitely going to get my workout in because it's going to be way too hot. But anyway, so I'm going to leave the camera here and I'm going to go do my workout and come back. I wanted to film a what I eat in a day and what Fox eats in a day. So Fox is two in March. He changes all the time. Like sometimes he's like too busy to eat in the day. In saying that my eating habits change all the time too. Like, am I recipe testing? Are we taste testing? Am I out and about having meetings? Am I at home? I thought it was the perfect day to film this because we're having like a home day. Anyway, I'm going to be late for the gym. Love you guys. I hope Kurt is a good vlogger for you. And I hope he remembers to film Fox's breakfast. Good morning. It's going to be a little veggie on my big dog. Say hello. I'm gonna go back to making a breakfast. Oh, you know, it's gonna be a good day when you get your coffee and breakfast in at the same time. And please don't, don't judge me, all right? I'm not the chef one. Sarah's the cooking chef, all right? I'm just a regular dad trying to get through in life. Oh, I've done a terrible job at this. Oh, how, do you, how does she do it? She flips so easily when she does it. This is gonna turn into a scramble. You happy with scrambled eggs? Because you get no choice. He's a bit I'm not mum, I'm dad, man, come on. Mum, can you hear that? Let me present to you omelette scramble. Sometimes he lets like a long bit of spaghetti go down his throat and puts the choking noises on it. It's real fun for everyone involved. Is it focused on that or is it focused on my face? Lately I've been thinking about the way we were Before yeah. you went Amen. and broke my heart When will I learn? Always try to make me poo. Good morning! I'm back. Did you miss me? I missed you. It literally took me an hour to get home, and it usually takes me six minutes. It's beautiful weather and I live at the beach. And when it's beautiful weather, where do you want to go? The beach. I'm not leaving my house today, okay? okay. I I still can't get over this. So we're just gonna have a pool day at home. I have major FOMO right now because Kurt and Fox and Abby are at the park. They were over waiting for me driving home. 
after eight years of vlogging, you'd think I'd have my setup together. Do you know how long I've been trying to get my hands on those? What are they called? Like hair holding clips? I'll insert a photo here. I've been looking for them for so long and then I Google where they are and I rock up and they're sold out. I do want them because I'm air drying my hair now and like get my hair nice and thick and luscious for our wedding in May. Um, I bought these ones. They're just not doing it for me, but like we'll just roll with it for now. Which leads me to the sponsor of today's video. Let me just wipe my face with water. If you've seen me do my skincare routine before, then you know what's coming. I always put a little bit of water on my skin before I start like this serum component. But thank you Esme Skincare Minerals for sponsoring today's video. You guys know this is my holy grail skincare product. I knew it was pretty popular, but you know how like you have that one person on social media that you just like, they're kind of like inspo to you or you just love them. She's like my mum goals. Her name is Lonnie Jane and I was watching her Insta stories and she shouted this out as one of her favorite skincare products as well. I felt like that girl on Mean Girls, you know, I saw Lonnie Jane using the Esme Skincare Minerals Hyaluronic Acid. So I went out and bought Esme Skincare Minerals Hyaluronic Acid. If I don't look like her in a few months time, then... I don't know what's going on. Anyway, this is my favorite product of theirs. They have all vegan products. Like I never drizzle it on my skin. It looks cooler, sure, but I always do it in my hand. Hyaluronic acid is really good if you have dry skin or combination skin, even oily skin to be fair. It's just super hydrating, but not oily. You wanna put something over the top. I change all the time. This is always a staple, but my oils, I always mix it up. Today we're gonna to use the Acai one. What's this called? It's called Acai Skin Balancing Face Oil. Esme Skin Chemicals have a bunch of stuff. They've got cleansers, toners, sprays, serums, oils, and they have given me a discount code for 20% off. It is Sarah20. I'll actually link this and their website in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can just go down there and click. Oh, I'm actually really hungry, which is surprising because I had dinner at 10 p. M. Usually I have dinner at 5.30, but yesterday, oh my gosh, it was so, so busy. We were like recipe testing all day. We finished the final recipe at like 6.30, then we were writing it all out, and it was just like, it was chaotic. And then by the time I went and picked up Fox from my mum's, I came home, I ate dinner at 10. So I thought I would wake up and feel like really full, but I'm hungry and it's only like 8 o'clock. Okay, it's nearly 9. And also because I slept in this morning and like, didn't set my alarm properly. I didn't get to have my body bloom. So usually, usually I wake up, I have a glass of normal water, then I have body bloom, and then I have my coffee on the way to the gym. But I had to skip out on the body bloom because I didn't have time. So I'm gonna go have that, have a liter of water. Guys, I talked about it on Insta Story, but like not here. You guys kind of get neglected because when I talk about it on Insta Story, I assume everyone knows and you don't. This is the OG Pity Party, my natural deodorant putty. This is coconut lime. But a lot of people are sensitive to bicarb soda. I kind of fall into that category when I shave. I can't shave my underarms. I used to get laser. I really need to get back into doing it. It's amazing, like laser hair removal but I stopped doing it when I got pregnant and just like haven't gone back. Anyway, <laughs> when I shave my underarms, I can't put this straight on because it, I'm way too sensitive. But for the past few months, I've been testing this bicarb free one. This is just like a tester pot, but I thought I would just let you guys know that a new bicarb free version is coming. It's coming, I'm pretty sure late March, but I'm pretty much out of this one. I have to say, it's my favorite. It's a little bit more sticky than the original, but for me, it causes no irritation at all. All right, I feel like we've been in here for a really long time talking. Thank you so much, Esme Skin Minerals, for sponsoring this video. It's time to get changed. This is his morning nap, but it's like not even 9.30. Time for body bloom. Also, this is literally my outfit of the day because it's gonna be so hot. <laughs> If 
you don't know how to make like the basic foods, everyday foods, like soft boiled eggs, poached eggs, scrambled eggs, medium rare steak, cauliflower rice, then, oh boy do I have a surprise for you. In my Sunny app, which is my healthy cooking app, there's a section here that's called Cooking Basics. Cooking Basics just there. And then you can click eggs and you say, I want to do boiled eggs down to boiled. Do you want this breakfast? I'm doing five eggs. And I don't think I'll have five to myself. How many will you have? Two. Oh yeah, I'll have three, 100%. Daddy's favorite. Can mommy have a bite? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> nom, nom. They're yummy. Maybe we'll give you half because they're very big. You can have a half later. I think you are ready for a nap, but you just don't want one. No? Want to go swimming today? Mm. But I'm going to have my brekkie and then I'll go in with you. Okay. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're having goat's cheese on yours. Yeah. You want to taste a little bit? Mm. Ah, yum. Yum. The fact that it's Your mom's pretty good at eating other people's food too. Yeah, I like to snack on other people's food. Yeah, I'm listening all the time. Mm -hmm. Try to make me prove I could be good enough for you. <laughs> Kick those legs! Kick those legs! <laughs> well done! The boat? Alright, alright, we're gonna kick around the pool. Kick, 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 kick. Go, 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 kick, 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 kick
I don't want pizza. Uh, you can either like buy your own fajita like wraps, yeah. or look here, you click this, and it links you to our cauliflower tortillas. Oh. So they're like the low carb ones. Oh, let's do Mexican. We'll do three rounds of roulette. Yes. And if yes. not, if not, we'll yes. do the roulette. End. Or if not, we'll do fajitas. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Ooh, Mexican bean bowl. I could do that. That's okay. Dairy free, gluten free, nut free, vegan, vegetarian. Oh, no, 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 no. I want, I want some. Can we add meat to it? I feel like meat today. My moose is melting. Like I need to get back into this. It's, Otherwise, it's, it's going to be real over time. It's yuck. That's disgusting. It's moose. It's not moose. Anyway, this is literally what we do while we wait for Fox to wake up because, like, he's the best. Yeah, what else do you do with your life otherwise? We actually have a lot of folding to do. Like, we have a lot of laundry, but, oh, like... We anyway. have a lot of life to do. Whatever. Exactly. Those rules aren't real. <laughs> interesting turn of events. I haven't actually eaten lunch here before. This isn't really lunch. One really positive thing that has come out of like toddlerhood and feeding Fox, fully realized how much I love snacking on whole foods, just like plain vegetables and fruit. It's just like, you feel so fresh. If you're not like super hungry, it's just nice to chew on. In terms of Fox's snacks, sometimes I make him cupcakes or muesli bars. Whereas other days I'll just make like a really basic whole food plate, like a snack plate. Like I just love it in summer. I was gonna make a big shake, like with almond butter and bananas, protein powder, oats, all that stuff. I don't know. Are you gonna come and eat with me? He's hiding from me. Pretty sure he's doing a number two. He always goes and hides. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just eating at the kids' table alone. Love that for me. Lunch. I think I mentioned this in like my last two what I eat in a days. If I made a proper lunch, I'd be lying. I would have done it just for this video because a pretty true day on my plate is like a good quality breakfast. And then I usually like taste test all day or like make new recipes for Sunny. I'll taste test recipes. So I just kind of graze all day and then I have dinner. So what I was grazing on, we made this low sugar cake for Sunny. So we made that up yesterday. I've been having like big slices of that. And then I also snacked on some of this curry in a hurry. Don't judge it off this. We plated it really cute. Here's the photo. So, so yummy. So I just kind of like snacked and grazed all day. Dinner. Okay. It is 4.30 and I'm already making dinner. I like to eat dinner at 5.30 just because we have like Fox's nighttime routine. Then we shower him, do a story and all that kind of stuff. And he's in bed by like 7.30. And then usually when Fox goes down, Kurt and I have dessert or something later in the night and we like watch Netflix and stuff. I like to eat around 5.36. But like I said last night, I had dinner at 10 p.m. Not goals. Let's go to Sunny. I'm gonna make the Mexi bean bowl, but I'm gonna add red meat. I actually didn't feel like brown rice. Like sometimes I'm in the mood for brown rice, but at the moment I'm obsessed with basmati rice. So we're gonna have like Mexican bowls. And then I also thought we could put some corn chips in it. Cause I always have corn chips now because I love like nachos and everything. And just because I'm recipe testing, I feel like I have every, I live in like Woolworths. I live in a grocery store. Literally it's the best. Mexican. Party. <gasps> I don't know if we have any tomatoes. I wanted fresh tomato. I'm determined to not go to the shops. We're gonna work with what we've got, people. True mum style, you know? Mexi bean bowl with a twist. Oh my gosh, I need to show you the most life-changing kitchen utensil, I guess you'd call it. Garlic crusher. If you can get your hands on one of these, life-changing in terms of like the crush and the wash. I need to throw this out. These are dead to me. These are the kind of Christmas presents I get. That's who I am. Watch and learn. A little bit of pressure. And then you just scoop. Oh, I love it. You don't even understand. Not 
gonna lie, I actually completely forgot I was vlogging. It took us three and a half hours to get Fox to sleep. He's going through this phase where he wants us to sit and watch him fall asleep. Don't get me wrong, Fox is the cutest thing to stare at, but watching a toddler fall asleep is kind of like watching paint dry. You don't care, I get it. I didn't have time to vlog because I was busy sitting in his nursery watching him fall asleep. But that night we ended up having some leftover passion fruit cheesecake that we made for Sunny and that is going live on Sunny in a few weeks. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to enjoy it together because one of us was always in Fox's room. So we like came out, had a spoonful, went back in, came out, had a spoonful. It's just the life of a parent. Anyway, as we know, at the end of these videos, I could literally just like talk and ramble forever. I'm gonna wrap it up now. If you have any specific videos that you want me to create, then just leave it in the comment box below. I keep saying this, but it's just taking forever to edit. The next video is my workout experiment. So to make sure you don't miss out on that one, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I usually say that the other way around so that just didn't feel normal. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!